All right, so what if you want to call an audible here, meaning I don't want to listen to you, Ryan, I want to do it my own way, and uh, I owe it to you to let you know what you're probably going to run into and some ways to circumvent those things. Uh, number one being I just want to use live rock or live rubble in my tank, I don't care. We've kind of already established that the chances you're going to run into funky algae is higher, but you know that now. Uh, you're also less commonly going to run into you know some parasites of either corals or fish on there, more likely. Uh, but uh, you also may run into like some atasia and stuff, all these things that like are photosynthetic and live on these surfaces. Now, a lot of those things are less of a concern if you have like a healthy tang gang, they're gonna eat that algae, maybe it really doesn't even matter. Uh, if you have, you know, a real chorus wrasse that eats some parasites, if you have that aptasia eating file fish, maybe the aptasia doesn't matter. So if you have a really healthy approach to the utilitarians, you know, the lion rock isn't as big of an issue. Now, one of the things you could consider, though,